what is up everyone in this video i will be showing you how to make this exact scene we will be focusing primarily on the scene layout materials lighting and adding some slight imperfections to the floor i want to be showing you how to make the shear model from scratch however i will mention where to get all the necessary files in the description and in the video later on keep in mind that this is a beginner friendly video so i will be prioritizing practicality and ease of use so as you could see, I'm starting with a base model of each chair and adding a plane in order to block out our floor. Just play around with its proportions trying to have a more of a porch look, right? Or a roof since I want the lighting to be more evident, the sun lighting. Now as you can see, I'm adding the walls based on the borders of our floor, right? And extruding it to about 3 meters in height. Playing around with it, right, while also keeping in mind how I want the scene to look and how I want the lighting to be. Now as you can see, I will be also adding some thickness to the scene. Before that, I will be make sure that nothing is flipped for the thickness to work correctly. Why am I adding thickness? Because I don't want any light leakage. That shouldn't be a problem with cycle, however, it is a good practice to have thick walls, right? Now I am blocking out our base composition, getting the shear in place and adding a simple camera. For the camera, I will be rotating it in order to point to our object, which will be our main focus. I want 70mm in focal length and I want the aspect ratio to be around 1 by 1, right? Now as you can see here, I'm just trying to get it to look a bit right using some compositional guides in order to help me with everything. Right, I'm just also playing around with how it should look, right? I will be playing around with the focal length with the position of the camera and with the shift Y in order to make it look a bit downward. I will also add some bevel modifier to the walls in order to emulate some edge wearing. Nothing is razor sharp. I will also make in a small gap between everything between the floor and the wall in order to have more of an interesting shadow and distinction between both since they both will have the same shader right here i am just adding the sun texture in order to add our light which we will be using for the final thing i won't be using hdri for this one since we need some more control over the sun elevation and rotation as well as strength i'm just playing around with the background strength right extruding the floor in order to avoid any light leakage as i mentioned earlier and at this point i will be adding our material as you could see i'm using a plaster decorative plaster precisely and using the regular albedo roughness and normally as you can see i'm showing you where to get the textures from you could get them from cg trader you could get them from Ambient CG, you could get them from, from Polyhaven, you could get them from Megascans, or just scale the attribute. I will be linking down some textures for you to use to make the search process a lot faster. However, I urge you to experiment with multiple textures. Now, just making sure that everything is in the right color space, and again, making sure that nothing is flipped, right? And UV unwrapping our mesh use a cube projection since we don't need anything more than that and well the floor is a cube practically now just play around with it uh, with the shaders attributes and i wanted to add some more contrast to the texture and some more grime which is why i will overlay a wall texture on top of everything you could do that with dirt you can do that with whatever you want you could find these anywhere on the internet just type wall texture or wall dirt pbr texture all right here i'm just playing around mixing it with a multiply node and just playing around with how it looks i also want our scene to have more of a pastel look so i want the floor to have a sand look using a bit of a desaturated orange in order to tint our texture as you can see i'm sampling it from our texture that we already have end up in the saturation a tiny bit you could see the difference in front of you. 
doing the exact same for the roughness, even though it won't be as evident here. However, it does cast some more interesting reflections and highlights. Right. Also playing around with the strength of the normal. Now I will want to add some displacement, which is why I'm making the scene, the floor, and the, generally the scene have some good topology in order to add displacement on the fly without really worrying about how geometry is distributed. As you can see, adding some simple cloud noise, right? And making it as subtle as I could. We do not want it to be very uneven. However, we want it to be uneven enough, not too much. Also applying the same material and cube projecting it on the walls in order to have the same material on both, as I mentioned earlier. At this point, I want some shadows which will carry the whole scene, right? Which is the point of me making this tutorial is just showing you how to get lighting and materials done, right? Using the very simple techniques. You could use whatever tree assets you have. You could use an alpha plane, which I will be showing you later on in the next videos, hopefully. And at this point, I'm just trying to shape our composition to look right with the lighting. We want the lighting to play a good role in our composition. We don't want it to be hindering our image. As you can see, I'm playing around with the color management in order to give it more contrast. And again, play around with the placement and rotation of the chair. Now at this point, I'm just playing around, you know, trying to make everything look relatively okay. You could spend as much time as you could. The more time you spend, the better it will look. Nothing works out from the first trial, right? Now I want to add some imperfections, which is why I want to specify a vertex group in order to scatter our debris on her, which you could see the debris is just a bunch of spheres, right? Slightly modified in order to have more of a non-even look but as you can see I'm also adding a cylinder and trying to make it look like a stick you could use some actual stick scans or make your own stick but and project however for this use case I really don't see the reason to spend too much time on it as you can see it's very simple shapes right just just trying to make it look slightly different it won't even matter if I use only a sphere since it's very small However, it's good practice to have enough unevenness. Since we will be blurring everything out with our depth of field. As you could see, I'm just applying it using a particle system. Do it fast, make sure that it's scattered randomly. And we are scattering the right collection in which we put our debris objects. Just playing around with the... The, the more uneven it is, the better it looks. Don't be afraid to crack it up a lot since it is very low poly. You could have tens of thousands of these particles. Usually without any issue even on smaller devices. If you tone down the viewport display. At this point, you could really go crazy with this. You could make a couple of dozen examples of uh, debris. You could use photo scanned ones. However, I don't really see a reason. Even for the texture, I will be using a plain albedo for this one, which is a, which has a darkish brown color. That's not too different from our floor in order for it to make sense. Here I am just playing around with the UVs, right? Trying to have it more realistic and playing around with the playing around with the aspect ratio and adding some depth of field which is very important in order to blur our not very impressive debris right adding an empty which is positioned roughly where the share is as specifying it in the camera section you could always play around with this it doesn't really it, there are no really no rules right don't be too hang up on what an actual camera sensor would be just trying Try to make it as good as you could. Make sure that the image is not overly overexposed. And if it is, just make sure that it, that most of it is underexposed or just the right type of uh, color values. As you could see, I'm just playing around with the with some post effects. You could do this using the default compositing. 
So in summary, we I have shown you how to make the scene, right? Mainly the materials and lighting, as well as the blackout, and add some very simple dust. Hopefully, in the next video, I it will be a bit more interesting, right? I will be showing you how to make the Farnsworth house, right? Using some very interesting techniques, which are very simple, as always. So if you are interested by that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, right? And if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram, which is where I currently am active. Take care.